what's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel to a set of Corsa if you haven't noticed from the beginning about the tandems so if you guys remember last time I was testing one of the usual suspects E92 VDC cars well if you notice on the top now uh, well he allowed me access to use his model so big thank you to 13 to be able to use his model and start modifying my own VDC E92 so this is one of a couple cars I'm going to be trying and testing out and modifying and, you know, basically modding and building. So I have gone through and done some changes to his car, changed up the brake setup, changed up the wheels and tires. And, of course, we changed up the wheel inside to a aftermarket wheel rather than the factory wheel that he had in there and put a nice shifter and handbrake assembly in there. So been doing more and more work with, you know, 3DS Max modeling and getting the cars modeled and stuff like that. So... Definitely going to be building a couple VDC cars. I got uh, some secret ones in the works right now. But once again, a big thank you to 13 for allowing me to the use of his ENIT2 model. And if you guys saw the tandems, we were getting those before this was fully modified. So, the motor has been changed in this car. It is no longer any of this. You guys know my love for no turbo lag. So, we have put a supercharged V8 in this E92. If you guys can tell me what FD Pro Car or Pro 2 Car it came from, just by the sound, I would be very curious if anybody can figure it out. So we're going to go rip this car and have a little fun with it just so you guys can see the wheel cam aspect of it and everything. We get the wheel cam turned on and the tow cam. And we will go send this car, my own personal VDC car, because there's his right there. Then you have mine different version so my own personal vdc car in the works got a few more that i'm working on too so let's go drive it make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below gotta move my drink before uh it gets knocked out a little vanilla coke for today so like i said it's very cool to basically have my own vdc car now and i'm working on some other ones so let's just go straight into it we gotta adjust some braking pressures I wish I could just grab that slider and slide it and then we'll drop this back so we're gonna go throw it here at the VDC OSW version Ooh, that was a lot of pop oh yeah, I like the poppy noises so we're going to adjust a little bit down there we go so we still got the rear mounted radiator and everything like that this car is basically a full blown out FD spec or VDC spec car did change the wheels and tires up like I said and did some modifying to the insides which took me a little bit of time to realize how to get the steering wheel to actually rotate and not make my brake calipers rotate around with my rotors got it all dialed in though so OSW like I said if you guys can tell me where this engine came from what FD car I'd be very curious to what you guys think where it came from so let's do this Throw it in. Wish I was a little bit higher on the wall. Come off the bank. Definitely very comfortable in this car as well. There we go. A nice little uh, run in the E92. So definitely been super excited being on a setup and starting to modify cars and build cars, change up pieces, you know, building some interiors with different seats and stuff like that. So definitely kind of cool. And I got a couple of cars that I'm working on, uh, some new ones and some old ones that I'm going to be bringing out to the channel to basically get you guys' opinion on which car you think I should run in VDC when I get my license. That was a little wall grace. We good though. OSW quickly becoming one of my favorite tracks. But I have driven this car in real life. Or this car. I've driven the I2s in real life. This track in real life. Oh, we kind of lost it there. So, it's definitely fun for me. So we're going to switch up to another track here. So let's switch it up. And we'll be right back on the track with the E92. Let's do it. All right, so I want to do some VDC stuff. So we're going to go VDC Road Atlanta. Road Atlanta, definitely a very fun track. And 
a fun track in Forza. So I'm waiting to actually get access to the new VDC Long Beach, where they actually took the Forza file and brought the Forza version onto a set of Corsa. Looks better and is definitely a lot cooler of a track. But right now, we're at Atlanta. Definitely love the way the wheels and everything came out with the Achilles radials on the on the tires and everything. A little bit of a stretch, you know. Adjusted the rear uh, rear wheelbase track and everything like that, so that we got a nice fitment. Go to Atlanta. See what we can do. Oh, don't do that. Oh, came in way too hot. Just try and finish this off because that was definitely way too hot. Just kind of throws off the rhythm for the whole course, so we're gonna shut it down and uh, give that one another go. Because Road Atlanta, definitely a fun track and something I'm very comfortable at. But in a set of Corsa, if you make that mistake on initiation, it it can mess up your whole run. Ooh, that backfire though. So like I said, if you guys can determine where this engine and everything came out of I'd be very curious to find out if you guys know right, let's give Road Atlanta one more shot she ain't in sooner kind of transition on that one a little bit later than I should did not get all the way out there we're gonna finish this one off at least. Took out that cone. Oh, too early of a clutch kick. No bueno run here at Road Atlanta. But we got a couple more tracks that I think I wanna try. We're just shaking down the new car, having some fun with it. Let's see, what other tracks do we got? Rockingham. Rockingham is a fun track. Because I've never driven Rockingham. VTC Rockingham, it's a Amazingly fun track really really kind of tight and technical and fun. So we're gonna rip Rockingham Definitely like the look of my uh, teal calipers in the back But once again a big thank you to the TUS guys and especially to us 13 for giving me access to this E92 and uh, Able to make it my own now So I that's why I've been modifying a lot of the parts on the car kind of to make it more and more like my own so it's not as exact as his. But I also want to work on a couple other cars as well. Make sure we're at full supercharger power. Because we do have an adjustable boost pressure on the supercharger. It's kind of weird, right? Shade in. Oh. that too early I did we'll manage to bring it out though I just love how this engine sounds and the crackle and I think I'm gonna be using this engine in almost every single VDC build I make because I love the engine and power combo just a little wall guys let's take a look at that replay I kind of want to see the replay of that run from the outside with you know so we can get a full aspect of how this car actually looks and look, my rotors are not spinning in with the uh, calipers, so we're good. It did take me a little bit of time to figure all that stuff out, but now that I figured it all out, you know, for me, doing this modeling stuff has uh, become very, very easy. And it's a little bit of second nature once you figure out what you're doing. Now, getting into building a full car, that's going to be a lot harder. But, down for the challenge. Car definitely looks amazing. It handles very well. So... If you guys want to keep seeing more about the VDC builds and everything, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see modeling and how I do some of the modifications and stuff like that. Also, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.